Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Crypto Bobby, and today I want to talk to you about some of the projects, whether they're ICOs or their existing cryptocurrencies, crypto assets that pump the hardest and why they pump the hardest. And there were two tweets uh, or a tweet storm from Sicarius on Twitter, as well as from Carter Thomas, Coin Mastery. You probably watch him on YouTube as well. They both had awesome tweets about this, and I think it's funny, and it goes to show some of the kind of thought process perhaps behind investing in some of these crypto assets where logically speaking you think okay this really makes sense and i'm going to put a bunch of money behind it and it doesn't really end up playing out like that so we'll talk about why that happens uh, and kind of what goes on and after this video i would love for you to comment below on your category for why coins pump and like what your investment strategy is would love to hear that thought process in the comment below and hit the thumbs up button hit that like button gets this video out to as many people as possible really do appreciate that so let's hop into it so the first uh tweet is from sicarius he's a great follow on twitter i will put his twitter uh information below so you can follow him as well if you don't already but he tweeted out and this is kind of in regards to icos but i think it also is very applicable to other crypto assets whether they've already kind of gone through the ico process and they're already tradable on binance or cryptopia or polo or whatever the hell it is but he basically says this he says occasionally i hear crypto folks talk about finished products regarding icos they raised 25 million and don't even have a finished product yet or found a gem ico they are launching with a finished product and then he says i'm here to tell you that finished products are where dreams go to die and as we'll continue to go, he says, finished products with exceptions are a shitty atmosphere for a pump. Reality sets in and a true valuation can be calculated based off of data. So users, revenue, etc. Since non-Bitcoin and ETH cryptocurrency is used precious little outside of actually trading, there really is no use outside of trading for most of these. Reality usually is not great. Uh, and then he says non-finished product ICOs are often a better atmosphere for a pump with no hard data to base a valuation on hype and speculation or all that remain. So pumps on team hires, pump on coding milestones, pumps on alpha launch, pump on beta testing, pump and exit on finished product. And then Sicarius says the last one, give me a solid team with a sexy white paper, no product, barely any code over a finished product ICO any day. Finished products obviously have their place. That's where adoption is happening. Exciting stuff. But I'm far pickier about which of those I hold. And so this was really interesting and I think actually really well put because... You would think, logically speaking, a lot of people out there, you would think, logically speaking, okay, this crypto project, everybody talks about, okay, we need adoption in the world of cryptocurrency. If nobody uses this stuff, then it's not valuable. So let's find the actual products that have value because people are using them. They are generally avail available. They're launched on mainnet. They're usable. All they have a finished product, blah, blah, blah. However, when you look at a lot of the cryptocurrencies that, that pump the hardest, meaning that they get the most ridiculous gains, they have the highest ROI, in a lot of times, it is these, like, like Zakaria said, it is these cryptocurrencies that don't really have that much substance, at least yet, and they'll pump on news and rumors and things like that, more so than the projects that actually have a legitimate product for people to use. This is a fantastic tweet thread. And we'll go over here to, to Carter Thomas's tweet, and it's similar in a lot of respects. And he says the altcoin 10x criteria. So not regarding SEOs, but regarding altcoins. He said, what is the criteria for a 10x on your investment for altcoins? Awesome logo. Ticker, <laughs> ticker letters, including X, is usually a plus. Uh, polished LinkedIn profiles. Announcements for days. Fake loose partnerships. Classic. No working product, this is the key. So going back to Sicarius, not having a working product is actually a benefit because then you can't use the working product and see, wow, this thing sucks, this thing's shit, or okay, they have a working product, but there's four people using it, so obviously it's not valuable. And then the last thing he says is scams usually go the highest, investing. And this was spot on as well. So both Sicarius and Carter Thomas have these points of essentially saying, you know, the cryptocurrencies that don't have working products are the ones that end up doing the best in many respects because it's 
first of all, the entire crypto market really in general is all speculation. Like, let's get that out of the way. It's basically all speculation. People can throw out uh, valuation formulas for, for Bitcoin. They can throw out valuation formulas for Ethereum and some of these other crypto assets as well. But for the most part, it is a market purely based on speculation at this point. There is no concrete real solid valuation method to actually analyze these coins and even less so for the projects that don't have a an existing project in place case in point right now so there's there's two that kind of come to mind number one was was tron or trx during the crazy bull run of december and january tron was basically a white paper and fantastic marketing a ton of announcements a ton of potential partnerships or loose partnerships but basically tron was the altcoin 10x really 100x criteria to the t tron was one of them and then right now eos is another one and granted eos there's probably a lot more development happening with eos than there is with most other cryptocurrencies but if we look at this in the past week EOS is up 77%. It is still not launched on mainnet. It is still, while they will have their own platform, EOS is still an ERC-20 token. It is still an ERC-20 token. So it is up 77% in the past week, and it is up 235% in the past month. You pull up the charts, EOS has absolutely crushed it in the past month. It has just, what do we got here? Up solid 165 percent or so against bitcoin in the past month so eos has absolutely crushed it and it still is not fully live which kind of brought the question to my mind i tweeted this out does this really kind of go to show a lot of people will say buy the rumor sell the news in some respects it's almost in my mind and even with with something like eos it might be buy the test net sell the main net or sell prior to the main net because the test net seems to be the portion where Everybody gets excited. They're all worked up. Oh, oh my God, you know, EOS is going to outperform Ethereum. It's going to be the best platform ever. And this is, again, not an, not a judgment on EOS one way or another. It could be the best thing since sliced bread. It could just be total vaporware. Who knows? I'm not saying one or the other. All I'm saying is that there are a lot of people now that are getting excited about something like EOS while it's still in the test net, while it's still even an ERC-20 token. People are talking about EOS surpassing ethereum in value which is certainly possible it's definitely possible but people are talking about eos surpassing ethereum in value when currently the way to trade eos is on top of the ethereum platform which would be pretty incredible and actually pretty funny and i believe the first time you would ever see that is that a token based on ethereum would be more valuable than the ethereum token itself than than eth itself which would be pretty incredible to think about so that begs the question and it begs the right now for me personally i am looking at at eos and i'm thinking hey i'm not this is this is pumped hard this could certainly continue to pump hard but in the past month i have no interest in touching this stuff right now i don't want to buy somebody else's bags although there's still certainly a ways to run up prior to the main net launch but it does beg the question when you are looking at some of these some of these cryptocurrencies some of these crypto assets do the you know, do the products do the do the companies that are so far away on a roadmap? You might look at a roadmap, and I've traditionally done this. I've looked at a roadmap and said, "Hey, this is just way too far away. There's nothing there." Maybe I personally need to, if I'm simply going at this for for ROI and for gains, that might not be the best way for me to personally think about it. Because if I'm looking for a close rat roadmap or uh, a a project with a, a product that's actually going to get into production. Uh, very quickly, or if it's not already in production already, those were great points by Sicarius and by Carter Thomas as well. Uh, I think in some in some case made in a joking manner, but at the same point in time, very much making a ton of sense. And it also goes back, I remember in December and January of 2017, 2018, there was a lot of talk about from a simplistic valuation standpoint or from a simplistic investment standpoint the cheapest coins were the ones that were pumping the hardest you had ripple which was like 25 cents at that point in time tron was super cheap there were a lot of uh coins that were under 20 that were under like a dollar under five dollars and the ones that were the, the least expensive ones were also pumping the hardest because a lot of new individuals into the space didn't necessarily realize that it wasn't about how inexpensive a, a cryptocurrency is it's about the market cap and the roi that you get on your investment this can somewhat be a similar type of maybe investment thesis right now in regards to the type of products that people 
the type of, of projects that people are, are investing in or thinking about investing in in the long run. So as we kind of go forward and look at this, I'm keeping my, my eye on maybe some projects really without a ton of substance. That's what it comes down to is, does it have a ton of substance or is the substance just super far away and there's nothing but really hypey speculation in the meantime? Or is it something that has a legitimate uh, product in place that people can use and that might actually reduce the valuation? I would love to hear your thought process, kind of similar to what Carter put out in a tweet. What would be your criteria for a cryptocurrency that can pump the hardest? Do you have a criteria? Is it similar to Carter? Is there anything else that you have? And also kind of going back to Sicarius's tweets, thoughts on that as well. Again, if you want to hit the thumbs up button, the like button, that'd be fantastic. Helps to get this video out to as many people as possible. I really, really do appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel by any chance, hit the subscribe button and the notify bell so you get these videos as soon as they do come out. Crypto Bobby signing out. Hope you have a great one. Take it easy. Peace.